Good afternoon and welcome to St. Teresa of Calcutta Parish and our celebration of the Vigil of the Transfiguration of the Lord. As we begin our celebration, please join in the prayer for the Parish Mortgage Contribution Program found on the blue sheets inside the today's missal. Gracious and loving God, we know that it is by your hand that our parish has been guided to create a faithful and supportive community. As we welcome all members to help build up your kingdom within our parish, we ask that you guide us to be the faithful stewards of the gifts you have entrusted to us by generously giving to the continued growth of our parish community. In doing so, we model the words of Mother Teresa, who reminds us to reach out to others in love and compassion, giving where it is most needed, and share the joy of loving with everyone. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We'll greet our celebrant singing, Christ be our light, breaking bread number 601. 601, breaking bread, Christ be our light. Good evening. Today we come together to celebrate the vigil for the Feast of the Transfiguration, and our Mass today is being offered for Robert Edelman. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You are the living bread come down from heaven. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You satisfy the hungry and thirsty soul. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You give your body and blood for the life of the world. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who in the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, confirmed the mysteries of faith by the witness of the fathers, and wonderfully prefigured our full adoption to sonship. Grant to your servants that listening to the voice of your beloved son, we may merit to become co-heirs with him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. 
Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. As I watched, thrones were set up, and the Ancient One took his throne. His clothing was snow bright, and the hair on his head was white as wool. His throne was flames of fire with wheels of burning fire. The surging stream of fire flowed out from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him, and myriads upon myriads attended him. The court was convened, and the books were opened. As the visions during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the Ancient One and was presented before him, the one like a son of man received dominion, glory, and kingship. All peoples, nations, and languages serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. The word of the Lord. King, let the earth rejoice, let the many islands be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him, justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. The Lord is King, the Most High. The mountains will melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice, all peoples see his glory. The Lord is King, the Most High. Because you, O Lord, are the most high over all the earth, exalted far above all gods. The Lord is King, the most high over the earth. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, we did not follow cleverly devised myths when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we had been eyewitnesses of his majesty, for he received honor and glory from God the Father when that unique declaration came to him from the majestic glory this is my son, my beloved, with whom I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice come from heaven while we were with him on the holy mountain. Moreover, we possess the prophetic message that is altogether reliable. You will do well to be attentive to it as a lamp shining in a dark place 
until day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. The word of the Lord. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus took Peter, James, and his brother John and led them up a high mountain by themselves. As he was transfigured before them, his face shone like the sun and his clothes became white as light. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, conversing with him. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Lord, it is good that we are here. If you wish, I will make three tents here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud cast a shadow over them. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my beloved son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell prostrate and were very much afraid. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise and do not be afraid. When the disciples raised their eyes, they saw no one else but Jesus alone. As they were coming down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, Do not tell this vision to anyone until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Some of you may have seen a relatively new television series that comes out called The Chosen, and it is about Jesus and his life. It's a remarkable series that's still under production and has given a great indication of showing who Jesus was in his life. It has been received extremely well. The director is Dallas Jenkins, and Jonathan Rumi is the actor who plays Jesus. The two of them have been interviewed to talk about how impacting it is for them to produce such a great story of Jesus' life. One of the unique qualities of this presentation, of this production, is the fact that Jesus comes off so human, as do the apostles. To the extent that Jesus is laughing with them, teasing them, joking with them, and in some of the conversations where people have been interviewed, they've often said it kind of startles them to see Jesus so lighthearted. But instead of compromising his divinity, they felt that his divinity was able to shine forth more clearly through a strong humanity, the reality of his interaction with his friends and his family and so forth in this story. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Transfiguration and we have the wonderful story of Jesus and his disciples going up to Mount Tabor where he is transfigured before them. It's in a context of St. Matthew's Gospel towards the end. And he has said to his disciples, I am going up to Jerusalem where I will suffer greatly and be put to death. 
Now, certainly his disciples, who have been close friends of his for three years, would have been quite upset by that prediction. To think that Jesus would suffer greatly and be put to death. So there, they, as human beings, were very much rattled by all of this. And it got them very concerned about what would happen as they were traveling towards Jerusalem and what would happen when they got there. In their human reaction, they were scared, they were nervous, they were worried. All very clear human indications of what would happen to their friend as they reached Jerusalem. And so our story today is one where Jesus is transfigured in front of them. Here's the voice of the Father. This is my beloved son in whom my favored rest. The second time we hear this, we hear this the first time as Jesus is baptized and he is sent forth in his mission. And, and the voice comes down from heaven with the descending of the dove. This is my beloved son, listen to him. So for those disciples who were traumatized by the fear of what was going to happen to their friend Jesus, they're given encouragement through this experience. They're lifted up by the hope that is promised to them in these words of God, of, from the Father. Watching the dazzling light coming around Jesus, recognizing that he is the beloved son and that there is a goodness there. Their human journey, their human reality, which was challenged by Jesus' words of going to Jerusalem, suffering greatly and dying, have been able to become overcome in this experience of the transfiguration, where in their humanity now, they recognize Jesus' goodness, they recognize that he is God's son, and that there is a blessing present there. It's just not all sad, but it's something that's glorified. In this experience, we realize that we walk that journey as human beings. And we all know so well that there are times when we are challenged by words that we receive. And sometimes even in the interactions that we have with God, we might feel disappointed. We might feel uncertain. We may not really sure exactly where God is leading us or where God is in our lives. But we celebrate this Feast of the Transfiguration just like the three disciples did. In that wonderful hope and that opportunity of that light shining down on Jesus, those words coming from the Father, giving a sense of hope, overcoming those challenges, the difficulties that human beings deal with, and being able to lift them up, lift them up beyond those challenges and those difficulties to be people of hope and people of light. As we have been baptized to follow the Lord, as we have been baptized to be called children of God, and as Jesus was baptized, we are confident that as God spent, sent to his only son, that he says to each one of us as his children, this is my beloved son or daughter in whom I am well pleased. Please stand for our profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in the accordance of scriptures. He ascended into heaven and defeated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, 
and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord calls us to imitate his love and holiness. With trust in God's goodness, let us offer our prayers this day. For the Holy Father, Pope Francis, may God continue to bless him with wisdom and strength in leading the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations, may God reveal his power, inspiring them in humble service to him and to the people in their care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are troubled, may, Father, may the Father reveal his love and bring them peace through his love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all gathered here, may God in his kindness enable us to hear and obey his love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially Tom Krasinowski, may they enjoy eternal life in heaven and behold the face of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of mercy, you call us into communion with you and with each other. Hear our prayers and graciously grant what we ask in faith through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our second collection is for our parish mortgage contribution program. And as we bring forward the gifts, we'll sing Holy Wisdom, Lamp of Learning. Breaking bread number 529. 529, breaking bread. Holy Wisdom, Lamp of Learning. Just charge it as we kindle sparks of thought your spirit sends. Sanctify our search for knowledge and the truth that sets us free. Come and move in mind and spirit, joined in deepest unity. Vine of among us shape our life our search to know joy to Christ in living dying may we help the church convey witness to the saving gospel bearing fruit of faith today holy God the hope of nations will as the symphony of ages claims our best our finest skill shape our search for peace and justice the prophetic deed and word Christ conduct us set our rhythm that God's praise be Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh Lord, sanctify these offerings here made to celebrate the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, and by his radiant splendor, cleanse us from the stains of sin through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. 
Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he revealed his glory in the presence of his chosen witnesses. And filled with the great, greatest splendor, that bodily form, which he shares with all humanity, that the scandal of the cross may be removed from the hearts of his disciples, and that he might show how, in the body of the whole church, is to be fulfilled what so wonderfully shone forth first in his head. <coughs> and so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit to graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim in your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Teresa of Calcutta and all the saints, on his constant intercession, in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, with the order of bishops and all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have called before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children, scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through 
him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. As we come forward to receive, we'll sing, The Lord is my light. Breaking bread number three, six, three, nine. Six, nine, three. The Lord is my light. Breaking bread, six, nine, three.
salvation. Why should I fear? With God I fear no one. God protects me in all my life. With the fruits your blood I drink. The Lord is my Let us pray. O Lord, may the heavenly nourishment we have received transform us into the likeness of your Son, whose radiant splendor you willed to make manifest in the glorious transfiguration, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Wednesday, August 15th is the Feast of the Assumption. It's a holy day of obligation. The schedule is currently on our parish website. The Knights of Columbus are collecting in school 
children's school supplies for local families. All supplies can be put in the bin in the chapel vestibule before August 20th. Flame of Love Rosary is a new ministry in our chapel after Thursday morning mass. Information is available in the narthex and in the bulletin. Tuition care forms are available and can be placed in the box in the narthex today. Adoration volunteers are needed, are needed on Wednesdays in the chapel. Please see the bulletin for details. And yes, our annual community festival begins on Wednesday, August 16th. This is an exciting time for our parish. Committee members are available outside of church today to take sign-up information for volunteers and pre-orders for ethnic foods. A baking contest entry form is in the bulletin today. I volunteered to be a judge. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a great day. We'll go forward singing, sing to the mountains, breaking bread number 544. 544, breaking bread, sing to the mountains. Sing to the mountains, sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your hearts. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. I will give thanks to you, my Lord. From death are my strength and my song. Sing to and sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your hearts. This is the day the Lord has made. All the earth rejoice. Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made. The glory of God sing to the mountains, sing to the sea. Rage says, Lift your hearts. This is the day the Lord has made. Oh.